الحمد لله الذي فضل سيدنا ومولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم على العالمين جميعا. وأقاموا يوم القيامة للمسلمين المتقدسين الطاعين حالكين الشفيع. وأصلي وأسلم على من هو محبوب ومرضي لديه. الصلاة تبقى بدوام الملك الحي القيوم. وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. وحده لا شريك له إله واحدا ورب شاهدا ونحن له مسلمون وأن سيدنا وشفيعنا وحبيبنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسل الله تعالى بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه والسراج المنيرا صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه دائما أبدا وبعد my most honored and respected ulama, shibuk, alimma, my brothers and sisters in the deen. Before I take the opportunity to not necessarily honor the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because as he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has already been honored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but rather seek forgiveness from Allah by speaking about the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because this is a gathering of the Mawlid of the Prophet alayhi salatu I want everyone inshallah to participate. Before we speak and hear some words, I want all of you to recite with me. And even if you don't know the words, then you must at least say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sahim? And we will speak about why it's important to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what is the motive of the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One of the most well-known odes and renditions written about the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by Sayyidina Sheikh Muhammad Sharif Al-Qin Al-Busayi of Egypt, Rahimahumullah, known as Qasir of the Buddha Sharif, I want all of you, if you know the words, to recite with me. And before we start reciting, if you know the words, if you feel shy about sending salams on the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then this is a form of denying him. And those who deny the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam know that Allah will deny them on the day of Qiyamah. And this is our liege Lord and Master, someone who we follow, someone who we claim to love. So to send salams upon him. If anything, you should be far from shy. Don't worry about what your voice sounds like. Rather, worry about your intentions. Make the highest intention that you want to gain the closeness of Allah by sending salam on the Prophet Don't worry about what the person next to you is going to be thinking because you might have a your voice or something. Don't worry about that. Worry about what Allah is going to think of you. When you sit in the house of Allah between the time of Maghrib and Isha, which is the best of times, According to hadith which can be found in the Asmat of Muhammad ibn Anbal and doing the best of things, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amongst the best of gatherings, the gatherings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this should be the best part of your life because you're sitting in the house of Allah remembering Allah by speaking about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam So, renew your intentions, make them completely clear and sing in praise of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Everyone recite together, inshallah. Maula ya salli wa sallim daiman
was a well-known tradition amongst the Arabs where they would sing about their leaders, they would write poetry. Many a time, they weren't sincere. They do it because they know they're going to get a bag of gold. They can sing about their leader and they will get a bag of gold. Sayyidina Hassan bin Sabit, radiallahu anhu arda, he wrote a poem about the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam before he took shahad. And in that poem, he expressed words which are not worthy of Allah and his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam heard about this and he said to his noble and virtuous companions, the Amir al-Mu'mineen, Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu arda, and the Amir al-Mu'mineen, Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu arda, he said in the meaning of what he said, who brings forth that individual who writes about Allah and his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyidina Abu Bakr said, who is this individual who writes about the Prophet? And this is not worthy of our master Rasulullah sallallahu sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu sallam said, the son of Thabit, meaning Hassan, the son of Thabit. They went out looking for him and they saw him sitting under a tree. And they approached him and they said to him in the meaning of what they said. Do you know our master and prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? He has heard about you that you write poetry about him, degrading his character, degrading him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alayhi. Do you know what you're doing? And Hassan bin Sabi said, for sure, I have heard about your prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alayhi. And I studied his character. The Imam, once he was speaking, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expand him in knowledge, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase his life and Iman, inshaAllah, for giving us such beautiful narrations from the pearls of the life of the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As he was speaking about the character of the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for everyone who truly loved the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this narration that he gave from the Shama'il compiled by Imam al-Tirmidhi narrated by Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib Allah wa this itself should be enough to shake your heart in the remembrance of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and make you yearn for him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and make you want to be like him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and make you want to imitate him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he is worthy of imitation. Sayyidina Hassan bin Sabiq then starts to express about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that for many days now I have been watching your prophet I have seen the way he walks I have seen the way he talks, I have seen the way he converses with his noble companions and I have found that there is no one as beautiful as him in character, in virtue, no woman could have given birth to him. He is born as if according to his own will. Up here, we must stop and try to understand. Number one, how can you be born according to your own will? What does this mean? Does it even make sense in the English language? Now, you brothers uh, in Trinidad, I, I, I arrived here yesterday and I've been speaking to some of the brothers in Mawlana Kabir Sahib and Brother Salah Din and so on and uh, sometimes I find it quite hard to understand what you're saying because your accent is uh, quite quick and your words are quite difficult for me to understand so I say to the brothers, you know, slow down when you're speaking, slow down you know, take your time when you're talking to me you don't understand what you're saying to me now when they start talking like that, I say, slow down 